Hey guys, so before we start bow fishing here, the sun is set and it's actually a little bit windier than I was hoping, but we're gonna give it a try. But uh, I had this verse come to my heart and I don't know why, because I just want to read it to you guys quick. It's uh, Ephesians 4, 16. From him, the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. If you want to know uh, what's happening before that verse, I really, rec I really encourage you to read uh, Ephesians 4. Um, it's the unity and maturity in the body of Christ. Uh, it's verse 1 through 16. I really recommend reading that. It's really, really good. But, um, so I'll tell you kind of where I'm at here and how I found this spot. So we are in a big city in, um, in Texas. But um, I found this spot. I called Inland Fisheries, I think it is. And I asked them about uh, armored catfish. I said, hey, like, do you know like where there's armored catfish? Where there's clean water? and stuff like that and they said well there's some in houston i was like well i was always already there it's the water is really dirty and like, well they they told me about this spot so um i'm gonna give it a try we're in i'm in a really big city i've never bow fished in a big city before but i talked to a guy at the boat landing and he said there's people come out here bow fishing all the time so the cops shouldn't get ca called on me tonight so hopefully that's true but um yeah, I'm after those plankos. If I can shoot one planko and one tilapia, I would be ecstatic. But um, yeah, those are the two fish we're after tonight. And uh, yeah, haven't been on this water yet. This is my first time here, so it's gonna be a scouting mission. Let's check out everything and see how many people we can blind with the lights. <laughs> no, it's not a good idea. But, uh, but anyhow, let's, uh, let's go bow fishing. Look at that fish. Oh, it's a carp. Couple of them. Those shad, man, they're fast. A little too fast for me. Whoa, we'll, we'll get one boat ride tonight, though. One will get a boat ride. Holy bonkers. That's a big, uh, and it's a grass carp there. Whoa! <laughs> I wonder if that was the fish we were looking for. Oh, to the right. <laughs> Got her. Holy tow Oh wow. 
fighting it down to film. That was a massive grass carp. A huge. Like massive huge. Not this massive, but oh my goodness. I think it was massive. Never seen one that big before. It's a nice bass. Fun to catch that one. There's that bird again. I think it looks so cool. No idea what it is. Man, it looks cool. Oh, bonkers. Which one do you shoot at? Well, guys, um, tonight was, it was a bummer. I I thought this was a hot lead. I thought I was pretty sure I was gonna shoot a, a plane coat today, but uh, I didn't see any. Um, I saw my biggest uh, grass carp I've ever seen. I saw like five, I saw five huge grass carp. I think I saw 10 grass carp altogether. Saw some really nice comments, saw a few that were like 30, 35 pounds. Um, saw a crap ton of uh, shad. Probably like 200 or more of those, 250. Um, saw long nose gar, a couple short nose, a couple um, suckers. But yeah, um, tomorrow I'm just gonna, oh, I hear I'm at a Walmart. I don't know if you can see that. But um, I'm gonna sleep here and charge the batteries. And uh, it's gonna be really windy tomorrow, so I'm not gonna probably fish tomorrow. But uh, the next day it's gonna be really nice, so uh, we'll go try that spot again and hopefully our luck will turn around. So, well, thanks guys for watching and have a great night. Thank you.